Okay, today the Santa Clara Broncos have Bianca Hedinger, senior and captain and goalkeeper of the women's soccer team. Thanks for joining us, Bianca. You're welcome. Happy to be here. <laughs> We're wondering, what are your thoughts on the U.S. making the finals in the Women's World Cup? Um, you know, I think the U.S. making the finals is just kind of a testament to their heart and just uh, the American spirit. I think if anybody watched that U.S.-Brazil game, I know personally I was like, <laughs> I mean, you know me, I was yeah. crying, for sure. Um, but, I mean, that was just a crazy game, and just kind of the definition of what this U.S. team is and kind of what it means to play soccer for the U.S. Women's National Team. Uh, what have you been most impressed with while watching the World Cup? Um, probably just how close the competition is. I think this is the first World Cup where you see teams like Japan getting through and beating teams like Germany when... Um, you know, this is their first semifinal that they won. This is the first time we've been back in 12 years. And you have other teams, just New Guinea, like they did really well in the beginning. So just teams like that, that really you haven't seen that much in the past and they're just coming in and making the competition a lot closer. Uh, what do you think the U.S. team will need to focus on specifically in order to win the game? Uh, I don't know. I think it's going to be pretty tough. I think if you saw the Japan semifinal, pretty much Japan at all during the tournament, um, I think you kind of just see the type of soccer that they play. It's kind of similar to Barcelona where it's just like they have the ball nonstop. And I think the U.S.'s fitness will help them out with that just because we might run into chasing the ball a lot. I hope that's not going to be the case, mm -hmm. but I think if we do, our fitness will help us out a little bit. Um, I think it would be really beneficial, obviously, if we can kind of get an early goal like we did against France and Brazil and kind of just set the tone there and not have to chase the whole game. So I think probably those will be the biggest things for us in the final. Um, how does it feel to know that Santa Clara, uh, in, in general, their schedule allows you guys to play some against the top players in the nation, such as Alex Morgan with Cal, Kelly O'Hara with Stanford, and Megan Rapino with Portland? Um, I think, you know, just for me personally, I think those have been some of the best games that I can remember being a part of just because you're playing against such great caliber players. Um, you know, they really change games and each of those games, I think you can attest to that, they really um, made the game more difficult for us and I think that's just a really good test for all of us to go through because at the highest level, that's what you're going to experience. So it's cool to see that, you know, you've played against players that are playing at the utmost highest level. And um, just kind of neat to see that, you know, you've been there and you've done it. Yeah. Um, how do you think the World Cup has inspired you in any specific way for the upcoming season? Um, for me, personally, I'm a player that really drives off emotion, and I think you know that. Um, so I think for me it's just I want that for my team, and I want us to go through – that and I want us just to be able to experience the type of stuff obviously that kind of Brazil game is a once in a lifetime yeah. thing but um, you know I'll be okay if we just win without <laughs> getting to the last minute but um, you know that's something I wanted that's the reason why I came to Santa Clara is because um, I wanted something like that for this team and we haven't really gotten to that point yet but I'm so excited for this year coming up and so excited for you know the opportunity that we have with this season. If the U.S. team wins, what do you think it will do for women's soccer in the United States in general? I think uh, they're already on the right path a little bit, that they're starting to kind of just rejuvenate people's, um, you know, excitement with women's soccer, which uh, I think we've been missing for a long time. Uh, it's obviously grown since 99, but I think we've kind of seen this ups and downs, and especially since we haven't really been, you know, in the limelight in terms of the World Cup. We've mm -hmm. won Olympics, but... Um, World Cup is soccer's biggest stage, and so it's just really cool to see how many people are kind of getting behind the team and really rallying for support. You know, you see on like Sports Center, the football players are like tweeting, and yeah. you know, you have like LeBron James, James, Kevin Durant, and so that's just really awesome to see a whole nation just get behind these girls because they definitely deserve it. And I'm hoping that just kind of um, you know trickles down to the rest of women's soccer. Okay, well, thanks for joining us today, Bianca. Yeah, thank you so much.